what is going on guys it's called sharpie we're back with another missouri tigers dynasty video ncaa football 06 next hope everyone's having a fantastic day last dynasty video we took on the georgia tech yellow jackets cheese it bowl got the dub 56 to 35 finished the season 11 and 3 and man it was another crazy season we started out at Kansas, we finally defeated the Jayhawks, turned around and got revenge on Notre Dame, beat Vandy, beat Kentucky, lost to Arkansas. That was a tough one. Had a crazy win against Tennessee, beat South Carolina, and then the wheels kind of fell off. We lost to LSU, got destroyed, beat Oklahoma, beat AM, beat Texas, beat Oregon State, and then fell to LSU in the SEC Championship. Didn't make the playoff, but we finished the season 11 3. And if you really take out those LSU games, we were 11 1. So huge step in the right direction. You'll see that we got bumped up in our program prestige. So we're now a six star program. As far as the roster guys so jabari is actually a red shirt junior we'll see what he decides to do we have gabriel white he'll probably transfer and adam gant who likely will be the starter running back room is looking real good jalen boy is only a sophomore cole puckett's a sophomore cj was a freshman will was a freshman and abe was a freshman so all of these guys will be back hopefully receiving kyle kifu guys i mean what can you say just a legendary career 50 touchdowns almost 6,000 yards he's likely gone guys plethora of talent behind him we'll see what his decision will be tight end room all coming back all underclassmen i mean dangle could leave we'll see what he decides to do galu hopefully will return we're gonna lose firestone Pratter is in 87. He's a redshirt freshman. We're going to lose DJ, lose Marquise. Jevin Green's going to have to step up. We're definitely going to have to recruit some defensive tackles. Linebacker room is looking amazing. I'm not concerned about the linebackers. We got a ton of talent everywhere. I have to recruit some more corners, but we got a lot of talent. A lot of talent. Hopefully we can move Peebles to strong safety. Stat rankings to end the year. So total yards per game, we finished 88. But offensive yards per game, we finished 20th, 13th in rushing. Points per game, we were 7th. Rushing touchdowns, we were first. Sacks allowed, that was a huge improvement from last year. And defense, defense was great. Total yards per game, we were top five, passing second. Rushing yards per game, we need to work on. And sacks, man. I know I said we improved on the defensive line, but we need to get that number up. Picks definitely went up. That's the highest amount of picks we've had in the dynasty. Coaching carousel, guys. So Hugh Freeze, you gone, buddy. Scott Loeffler taking over Auburn. Billy Napier. Charlie Weiss Jr. Dang, Kirby Smart gonna get let go of Georgia. Glenn Schumann makes sense, their D coordinator. Mike Loxley, Kenny Burns takes over Maryland. All right, Brian Borland, it's been there two years. Jordan Stevens takes over Oklahoma. Steve Sarkeesian, Rusty Wright. I got this. I think that's it for this year's coaching carousel. Let's get to season five, man. Let's see who's in the transfer portal. Connor Ricks, we did like him. JJ Forte, Jevin Green, we don't want to lose him. John Jackson, why? Gabriel White, Avi Bassa. All right, Kifu's gone, guys. I mean, I don't know why. Why would Bassa leave? Probably because we changed his position. <laughs> Recruiting is here. So let's get to it, man. Let's start with the home state. We'll take Alan Carson, the four star. Like that. Excellent potential. 705 squat, A plus field awareness. The baller. Oh, I like this guy. Pretty good linebacker talent in, in state. All right, let's go to West Virginia. Wow, I actually have some five stars. What the heck? All right, let's get John Jackson back. Hopefully. Jevin Green, that's another one.
we could scout these guys again because they are a pipeline state that was a house rule we made a long time ago Here we go, y'all. Great state of Florida. And look at all these five stars. Going through the list, guys. These are not the most exciting videos, but want to make sure you guys are locked in to everything we're doing. Great state of Texas. Be some ballers here. Look at this guy, guys. 6'11", 187 pounds. Oh, man, it's hilarious. I hope we get him. We lost one guy last year. He went to, like, Liberty or something weird. Like 6'11", or something, like, something, something wild. So now we'll just go to Interested. So here we go. Look at Bass. He's a five-star. Got to get him back. Centers are five ten, but look at the squat. I mean, they're beast. Now these guys know we coming, bro. I mean, look at all of these players. We might have the number one class. We might have the number one class. Got studs, man. Look at this dude, seven feet tall. This dude is the goat. Look at this dude. Oh my God, we have to get him. We have to get him. We have to get him. Full court press, bro. Full court press. I don't care. I don't care, bro. We'll have the best team of all time. This is going to be crazy, guys. Lock in. Let's go. No commitments after week one. So let's go to targets.
Should lock down some of these guys, man. Oh, here he is. We're first, though. Okay. Tennessee, let's go coach prestige. All right, so this center went to Penn State. All right, let's see who's interested in this, this linebacker. Virginia, that was a pipeline state. Yep. That was a pipeline state, so we'll do location. Another pipeline state. Oh yeah, Austin Duck, 6'5". Oh yeah, 449 bro, absolutely. Oh, here's Connor Ricks. Yeah, we need him back. He's a beast. Leaky Thompson, we'll take him. Oh, six eight. I like that. So we can go back in our pipeline states and sorry, I've been talking, I've been locked in and see who we missed out on. That's in, that could be interested in us. That was upset. We did not recruit them, but look at that 730 squad. Yes, indeed. Go back to Florida. I right, guess week two. Hopefully we can get that seven foot monster, man. 
Mr. Bass is back in the fold, guys. Jordan Osuji, the five-star middle linebacker from Illinois, is in the fold. Sam Thax in the five-star center from Georgia. And then Hakeem Wu, fire of a name is that, five-star from Massachusetts. All right, let's go back to targets and throw 30 on all these guys. Joshua Jackal, we're still first. Usually we'll do coach prestige. All right, so Braxton Heckel, Khalil Baker. All right, so we've only missed out on two targets so far. Let's go back to interested. So we got another five-star halfback interested. Hmm, do we need him though? I don't think we need him. I mean, we got a lot of spots. We got a lot of halfbacks we got to take care of, man. Here's the 611 beast. All right, let's see if we can snag him. Kala Appleton, bro. Dude, if we snag him, it's a wrap, bro. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Get some two home corners. All right. Week three, guys. Egan Johnson and Leaky Thompson. Oh, no. Kala went to Baylor. All right, we still got still got Jackal. We're kind of all right. We're pulling away. We should lock him up. Go through these guys one more time. We're gonna have the number one class, guys. We're gonna have the number one class. I, I'm feeling it. I'm really feeling it. I mean, if Gabriel White wants to come back, why not? Week four guys. Oh, here we go, guys. Five star Samuela Smith. 
four star Xavier Bug, four star Austin Duck, four star we got Jevin Green back, and here he is the seven foot unicorn Joshua Jackal. Welcome to Missouri. We got Nap and Jackal. Let's go. Jamari LaFleur and Todd Landry. Last week, guys. Yeah, we need to lock up those linebackers. We need to lock up those linebackers for sure. Man, John Jackson went to Liberty. What are you thinking, bro? Bryce Kalambayi, he decided to go at Iowa State. Stay home. I don't blame him. We locked up. We lost three guys to Iowa State. All on the offensive line. Interesting. Four guys. Wow. Five to Iowa State. That's crazy. Week five, guys. See what happens. Branson Penley's in the full. We didn't get the other linebacker. What? He went to Georgia State? What? Oh my gosh, bro. What a class, guys. Our best in program history, no doubt about it. Audi Bassa, Akeem Wu, Sam Thaxton, Samuela Smith, Jordan Asuji, Brandon Penley, Jake Bellin, Markel Perkins, Eugene Boozer, Noah Russo, Keegan Johnson, Jamari LaFleur, Jack Wanamaker, RJ Matocha, Austin Duck, Xavier Bug, Derek Ford, Jevin Green, Gabriel White's back, Charles Smith, Jamar Morris, Joshua Jackal, the seven foot beast, Grant Laporta, Elvis Nemo, Todd Landry, Ty Capra, TJ Freeman, Drake Leapy, Leaky Thompson, Jalen Osling, Enoch Van Zant, Delano Keys. And then these are just some fillers, man. What a class. Numero uno, y'all. Our first number one class in the dynasty, six five stars, 18 four stars, eight three stars. Oklahoma finished second, Penn State third, Clemson four, LSU five, South Carolina six, Utah seven, Bama eight, Georgia nine, and Miami coming in at 10. Position changes. We got 85, so let's, he's gonna get cut. Man, Wu's a beast, bro, 93. Oh yeah, he's gonna be a good player. Wide receiver, man, look at Keegan Johnson, that four stars in 84 overall right out the gate. That's huge. No Russo's in 80. Oh yeah, he's gonna be a beast. Jackal, y'all. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God. 80 overall, 97 speed, 89 jump, 84 catch, bro. He's going to be a legend here. Tyjanat was a freshman All American. 
Dude, we're loaded. We're loaded, bro. Yeah, Dangle came back. I cut some of these guys. Mine's looking pretty good. Mine's looking really good, actually. Look at this dude, this true freshman could be a 98 overall defensive end, bro. You know what? I'm about to put him there. I'm about to put him there. Why not? Why not? Why not let it fly, man? If he's if he's born to be just a stud right off the gate, we haven't done that yet, so I think we deserve a little 98 as a true freshman. Let's get it. Cause man, we we, we have a loaded team. I mean, we have a loaded team. An absolute monster team. Not as good as I thought. I right, would put Kelly at strong safety. And you know what? He's a junior. We'll keep him there. He only has 82 speed. We're gonna no. We're putting him at. We're, we're gonna try it out. We're gonna try it out. Oh, we got our punter. He's a QB, right? Yeah. All right. We'll keep him at QB. All right, guys. Oh man, we're about to be loaded. We're about to be so loaded. Ninety-eight overall, insane. Let's get it. So Adam Gant, most improved. So he's definitely the starter. Went up two in speed, six in awareness. Jabari went up two. Boys in ninety-five now. Ninety-eight speed. Yeah, he's a beast, bro. Bucket eighty-eight. Will Amari's in eighty-five. Wow. Abe Davis. Oh, that'd be so nasty. Horsey 86, Pete 84. Nap went up 82, but one in speed. Yeah, he's gonna be have a monster season. Look at Dangle in 99 now. Wow. Three star player. Riders in 90. Dang, he went up 11. Loveless in 97 now. Ayers 89, Nihos 88. Dang, I should have changed their positions. Let's see, Williams at 86, that's good to see. I like that. Evil's in 82. I'm probably still going to start him. Kelly, 86. Okay. All right. Man, we're loaded, y'all. This is by far the best team we've ever had. All right, we need to cut 10. We're just going to cut this kicker. 
we got nine here's eight cut this dude seven six five Okay, we have no DTs though. Three. Two. One. Let's see if we could trim off any more. Free up people in the future. Bro, we're so loaded at receiver, man. And we're, they're all young. They're all young. And running back, man, bro. We, we're building something now, bro. We're building something. Get rid of this guy. All right, let's get it. Depth chart, Adam Gant. It's going to be our starting QB. Man, we are just absolutely loaded at running back. I mean, we have to put Nap as the one. He's got to be the. He's got to be the one. Two. It's got to be the seven footer. Horsey will be three. Keegan Johnson is going to be the four. I think I'm going to put Russo and then Prajaska. I think that's going to be the lineup, guys. I love it. I'm excited. Offensive line. Best it's ever been. With Nihas inside, Bassa and Ayers at their, uh, for Ayers, I should say. Jackson Williams is going to be our number one. Cam Rucker will be our two. Probably put the line of keys, and then we'll have Peebles starting at free safety and Kelly at strong safety. That is a wrap for the offseason, guys. Season five is almost here i am so excited i hope you guys are too hope you all have a great night see y'all next time peace